This is a good casual wearing shirt, trust Jesus, on both sides. This is good for preaching to feminists. This is good for when I typically preach to Muslims. And then this is the infamous Virgin Pride shirt. You whore is rude. Maybe it may be perceived rude, but in the end, I'm trying to get people to change. So, so why am, why am I a whore? It doesn't necessarily mean that you are. Well, I know the Peter, finger's pointing right at me. Well, have you had premarital sex? Yeah. Well, then that would make you, well, from what the Bible says, a hoe. I'm a student at the University of Arizona, and I decided that this year I was going to preach against the sin of immodesty. Typically for an event, I'll see what the event is that I'm going to. I'll think about who's going to be there, what kind of a message may be appropriate. I'm go out and preach it. You know, she is um, a beauty pageant contestant, and there's a lot of provocative, uh, you know, seductive pictures of her that, you know, she has put out of herself. Give up your immodest clothing. I mean, I believe that if she was at home, and if she had um, kept to her Orthodox Jewishness, that, that rape really probably would not have happened. You need to stop masturbating. Yoga pants are sin. It's time to stop listening to Miley Cyrus. I don't know if Brother Dean has relationships with women. I do know that there are women, I don't know why, but there are women that do agree with his viewpoint. You need to stop being a camel toe. Oh. In the Bible, it says you're either for me or against me. And so if you're doing things that are godly, then no. Typically, things are not going to happen to you. And when girls are getting raped, I'm not going to say 100% of the time, but a majority of the time, it's when they're in these situations that they should have never been in to begin with. Right now, I'm walking to the free speech um, area uh, called Heritage Hill. But Wednesdays on this campus is a big day, as you can see. And it's a great day to go out and um, preach to people and to communicate people about the gospel of Jesus Christ. The gays have an agenda. The feminists have an agenda. Brother Dean on this campus has an agenda. According to him, he is two approaches. One, get a reaction out of people and to ultimately convert people. So if you, know, if you count his approach as wanting to get a reaction out of people, then yes, you can see he's doing that very well. Hey, are you guys Christians? Yes. God's gonna flip you off to, into hell and, if you do that. But if his approach is to convert people, then he's doing a miserable job of that. Evolution is a lie! One street preacher said, you know, if, if you dress like it, you act like it, different things like that, and you're asking for it, therefore, you deserve rape. And his last three words, I felt like were nice and, um, I decided to put him on a sign and go to the event. Check it out! You deserve! You deserve to be raped! Rape yeah, is encouraged on this campus! I believe that there are certain qualities that may be worthy of rape. You're asking for it! For it. You're asking for oh it! If a woman dresses provocatively, um, gets blackout drunk, and is wearing really revealing uh, clothing, then I would say that she is partially responsible for the rape. I'm sorry to say, but most of your dads are ashamed of you. With what I do and what I believe as a Christian, uh, a lot of people will think that I'm a homophobe, racist, bigot, um, uh, all manner of other names that they've probably come up with. It's not okay to be gay. It's not okay to be a homo. God didn't design you that way. God says it's a big no-no. 
I heard you once say that women should not be here at the university because we it's pointless and that we should all just get into the kitchen. Uh-huh. I said something along those lines. Yeah, you did. I believe that feminism is hurtful to society. The dangers of a cleavage showing camel toe on this campus. Ephesians 5.22 says, wives submit unto your husbands. Feminism seems to try to defy that. In my perfect world, he would come out here with a banner that says, have questions about Christianity, come ask me. And he would, you know, sing songs, sing good positive songs instead of his, you know, why gays need to be in the closet song that he loves. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Why are your pants sagging? You look like a homo. You guys need a double dose of the Word of God on this campus. In this city, I'm probably one of the most known and hated people. No one really wants him here. There's a petition online to get him kicked out okay, um, on change.org. Oh, yeah. This is a better hobby, man. No, this is a good hobby. What's your hobbies? <sighs> not being a fucking asshole. Man, that's not, that's not a real answer. <laughs> you don't have a real hobby. <laughs> no, this is a real one. I'm warning people about the hell. He is an aggravation, and he is deliberately trying to cause a riot. He sows discord and creates conflict in a campus that is otherwise pretty peaceful, where people strive to get along. All Muslims are going to hell. You're like hatred. You're not even like a preacher. You hate on everybody. God doesn't hate on who, who, people. Wait, who do I hate? Who do I hate? Just everyone, you said that you hate Muslims, you hate everybody. Like, they're I, going to I hell. didn't say I hate them. Are they them. going to hell? Where are Catholics going to hell? Just because they're going Catholics to hell doesn't to hell. mean Everybody's that going to hell I hate them. Except for Christians, really? That's what the Bible says. Oh, I'm pretty sure God says to like love everybody and not to judge, but you judge everyone. So. Where does it say that? Get your dick sucked and come back. No. Maybe be nicer. Dealing with the hatred of the entire city and the campus and um, various things can be um, difficult. Hey guys, I can't get my message out and you keep on blocking it. There have been times when I will get a call and I'll go out there and we've called police for his safety. There's some people that um, get very angry with him and curse at him, swear, and um, they want to hurt him. <laughs> One guy uh, tore my shirt, the, my Virgin Pride shirt, and um, another guy, a football player, hit my sign out of my hands, and another girl threw a smoothie at me. I have an opinion, and I need people to hear it. I think he has a lot of conviction behind what he's saying, um, and some of it may be for show as well, um, and attention, but I think he believes a lot of what he's talking about. I don't think he could stand out there and do what he's doing if he didn't believe it. And, you know, he takes a lot of um, criticism from people on his views. That man watches too much pornography! 100% I stand behind what he does. There's about 15% of me that wishes that he would change the way that he approaches. Lose some weight, you fatty! I think, in a way, it's exciting to have the kind of dialogue that goes on at the U of A. You need to turn off the rock and roll right now. I used to have a lot of people that I'd hang out with, but um, when I decided to start preaching, I decided to, that I was willing to give up everything. I am a living sign from God. That's what you guys need. The preaching uh, puts someone into a wilderness, a wilderness of aloneness. If you decide to do what the Bible says, you will be alone most of the time. Being passionate about anything, there will come a cost. The cost that I had to pay and that anyone else who wants to do this will have to pay is, is that you, will, you won't have very many friends at all. Um, and there won't be very many people who will, talk, who will want to talk to you. But um, I believe that it's worth it. Um, how many people right now would you consider to be kind of close friends? 